All right, guys, we are trying to tackle the toys today. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I have been meaning for like weeks now to finally go through all of Aubrey's toys and do like a seasonal rotation. I do have some containers, four containers here, which are not gonna be enough, obviously. They're jam packed and we have overflowing toys. But I do plan on keeping some toys always out, especially in this room where we have a little grocery store and a little like restaurant. So any of the food type toys are gonna find their place in here. And then we do have some storage space in our closet where I can put some of the bulkier toys, like these blocks that, you know, I'm not gonna put the container of blocks in another container that could hold smaller things. So I'm gonna try my best to make this like a seasonal rotation. I don't know if it's gonna take me all day or just like two hours. I really have no idea. I don't even know if I'm gonna have to go into another day. So we're just gonna find out in this video. So I hope you guys are motivated to tackle maybe a, you know, scary mess <laughs> like this one uh, after watching this video. And the first thing I am going to do is just take out literally everything and try to, you know, group the toys that go together, see if there's any missing pieces, you know, search the house. I know there's, we have a couple toys out in our like family room that I'll eventually bring in here if I know that like, you know, we're missing a piece and just make sure everything has its set, if there is a set of toys, um, and then we're gonna categorize and all that stuff. But first, let's get everything out and kind of put everything with its partner. So <laughs> it's taken me a long time, even though that clip was like 30 seconds or whatever. I have been working for a while and I'm still trying to sort everything, but right now Jack needs me to feed him and lay him down for a nap. Uh, I see some other toys over there that I still need to like get to and still organize. This room is kind of small, so it's making it kind of like claustrophobic and hard for me to get everything, but once I finish getting everything out of the closet and really seeing like what I'm working with, I think it'll be a little bit easier. I do have a little container that I've been collecting like Jack's toys. So I'm probably going to bring those out where I keep his little baby toys to create more space here. And then, you know, anything else that I find, I'll start another pile. But I'm pretty sure that's like most of the baby stuff that has creaked its way in here. And then I came across some books and socks and things that would go in their bedroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in their room and kind of take out you know, the stuff that really isn't gonna be part of the seasonal rotation. I also have a trash pile and a stuffed animal pile, which is all stuff that is gonna be like out of the seasonal rotation for now at least. Obviously the trash, but I mean the stuffed animals. So I'm gonna take everything that's not part of the seasonal rotation or you know, like a big toy and take it out of here, feed Jack, lay him down, maybe take a mini break, and then I will continue. Okay, guys, I'm back. It probably looks like I didn't leave it all, but I actually, a lot of stuff happened actually. Um, Juan and I had an impromptu trip to Walmart, so we did some grocery shopping. I had to put those away, made some dinner for everyone, and now I'm getting back to work. I am exhausted. I really wanted a nap today, but I'm gonna try to make some more progress. I don't envision finishing this up tonight, but that's okay. So let me show you kind of what I have done so far and then talk about what I'm gonna continue to do. So I still gotta touch that area over there. Um, I have a basket of like food cupcakes that I know go together. We recently got these foam blocks. So those, I think everyone, everything is in there. We have um, these cute little like felt fleece. 
felt. I think they're felt. Um, uh, like foods that my aunt and some people from her church made. And we have pegs. I made sure that everything was in there. And then, uh, like I said, I'm trying to like clump everything together. So many like poppets. I have to move that little car to our car or vehicle box. This is a box that I brought down that need, I need to go through. And, you know, I got some like little figures that have sets that go with them or finger puppets. I have this little set. I know I'm missing a whole bunch. So somewhere in the closet is the rest of the pieces that go with that. In that box is like hair accessories that need to be put in the bathroom got some Legos. I made sure everything was in there. And then this box is like just random, like one item things that don't necessarily have a set. So I will either find a place where it fits in, like the horse might go when we have the farm, um, you know, like things like that. So I'm going to figure out how I'm going to work those into the rotation. This box is like things that have sets that I know I'm missing a whole lot. Like there's only two cards from a deck. So I know that I'm you know, in need of more items there. But like I mentioned in one of the previous clips, I, you know, moved some things out of this room already. I already put like a giveaway bag out in the garage and I brought a new one in here so that I can continue to fill it up. Mainly a lot of like the random toys that either are missing a piece in a set or it's just kind of like incomplete. I'm just getting rid of because I would much rather have complete sets of toys and that's it and you know have less of them than like a whole bunch of random things that aren't complete sets and then I'm like always wondering oh is this missing a piece or you know is one piece lost or you know anything like that so right now we are just gonna finish kind of putting the random stuff that I find around the room in with like their buddies so if it's like a set that i know like oh it's missing a lego piece i'll put it there and then we'll start to categorize i have kind of already started by throwing like all of the vehicles together but what i want to do is is create broader categories so like if it's an educational piece if it's a like role play type toy like you know like a dress up like a doctor or things like that um, I know I have like a dentist and a doctor thing. So I want to categorize things kind of more in a broader sense and I will make sure to share like what categories I come up with. I tried to think, you know, as best as possible, like what we had, but I figured I really need to see everything laid out before I really determine those categories. So it's not necessarily something that you can go into organizing this way and like come and like already have the categories like in your head if you're good and can do that good for you but for me I really need to see every single thing that I have here so that I can come up with the best solution for us so let's go ahead and finish that and then I will check in once I've made some more progress <laughs> So I had to take a break to put Jack to sleep and then Juan and I watched a show and it's just gotten really late. But while we were watching a show, I like to multitask and I was really trying to come up with my categories for the types of toys that I have. So let me show you guys like what I kind of came up with and just give you a quick overview, but there's no way I'm completing this today. Okay, so hopefully this won't be too frustrating with me recording a screen, but so for my toy categories, I came up with like role play or dress up. We have a dentist set and a doctor set that um, have like a shared little cart. It's this little cart right here. So I plan, this won't fit in one of my boxes anyways. So I'll just make sure to bring this out, you know, at two different points of the year. 
And then I couldn't come up with like a better name, but like realistic role play. So like things that you'd use kind of like every day or, you know, like in your home domestically and then unrealistic role play, like the butterfly wings and her PJ mask stuff, the crown, you know, maybe she could be a princess someday, but that's more of just kind of an unrealistic, you know, play. But anyways, so those are kind of like the categories that I came up with for role play we have creative construction, so anything that you can kind of just like build and create with blocks or pegs or Legos or whatever. And then she has a bunch of figurines, so I just kind of broke those up. And I have more than four categories here. They might get clumped together. Uh, I might just decide to leave some out all the time. And then we have different puzzles, so I just kind of broke those up things that are educational, um, her wooden ABC set, there's like an electronic tablet with ABCs and some other toys. Then Aubrey is a collector, so anything that like she could collect, like her beads or stones or rocks or seashells or whatever. And then she has a million cars, so I broke those up into different categories, keeping all the emergency vehicles together so that, you know, if I were to split them up, she might want of an emergency vehicle that's not in that set. So I just decided to like kind of keep all of the similar cars together. Then she has some fidget items. So I'm trying to keep, you know, different ones or split them up rather than having them like all in the same uh, container so that she can pop some bubbles if she wants or whatever. And then we have like larger play sets. So she has like a frozen castle. She has like a farm set. Um, these two, these two ones right here are kind of smaller, so I clump them together. There's like a felt thing that's also kind of small and a beanbag toss, so they might get clumped. And then you might have noticed that some of these are color coordinated. So I know that like on the farm and the butterfly pop I want together because they're kind of more animal related. This dinosaur item, there's, let's see... Um, some dinosaur figurines so I thought maybe that'd be kind of nice to like have those in the same container so I was really just trying to come up with like all the different major categories and I kind of did this mostly because all of the items that I've seen today like were in my head I'm sure there's a couple things here and there that maybe just don't fit into any of these categories. So they'll just kind of be like random item number one. <laughs> but I think tomorrow or whenever I get a chance to work on this again, I'm gonna see the size, like the physical size of these different items and see what fits best, like by kind of playing Tetris <laughs> with the boxes that I have to actually store these in for the seasonal rotation. So like right now, all of the role play stuff is in here. So this will get broken up right here. This is all of her like collecting items, like her sea glass is right there and there's rocks and stuff in there. This item obviously, again, won't be in a bigger box. Um, it will be in the closet and I will find a way to um, kind of put in the box that like this corresponds with what is inside. I did save some space. So this is my trash box. Um, and I took out all the pieces of this game and put them in a little like baggie that's kind of like this, just to kind of save some space. And I put it, uh, made it fit in my little board game box up there. And bigger items again, like the Elsa or Frozen Castle. Um, these little like felt foods and the pegs well the pegs might fit but you know some of the bigger items again won't fit in like these types of boxes but again I'm going to find a way to put the information in the box so that I know which toys to kind of make more accessible to Aubrey. I am considering taking like a photo I have like a little tiny photo printer thing that might actually work really well for this stuff I'm thinking about taking a photo of everything that's inside the box so that when I pack it back up at the end of the little season, I can know like, okay, I have everything in here or, oh, I'm missing this one toy. Let's go ahead and go find it. But as you guys might've seen me do in like that previous time lapse, I did organize all of the food pieces. I put all the food away in our grocery store, although Aubrey probably has like some in her shopping cart and spread out throughout the house and like she hides it and tucks it away. So uh, while she is occupied tomorrow, 
or whenever I get a chance to, um, you know, work on this again, I'm going to scavenge the house for any additional toys and just find their like rightful place. But I put all the food in the grocery store. I put all of like the cooking utensils in our little restaurant area. So that is put away. And then some other toys that are definitely going to stay out are like the fake cleaning toys so that she can clean her grocery store or clean her little restaurant or pretend to, you know, clean around the house. Some they're actually useful toys. So sometimes I actually use them to clean. So those are going to stay out uh, for sure because I like to encourage her to clean and I don't want that to just be like a, you know, end of the year type thing. And the last like toys that I'm not really tucking away are all of the baby toys. Now I know that I don't want to overstimulate Jack by having all of the toys out all at once. So I will probably go through them eventually and just kind of do like um one box like rotation like every other day or something like that. Uh, just so that they're not all out at once because when they are all out at once, Aubrey will take them and like make them her own and then hide them and then I won't know where they went. So I will, you know, get to the baby toys, but right now I think I'm just trying to tackle like all of the toys that are for Aubrey's age and up so that, you know, because that's like the bulk of the toys. So everything else, you know, I can wait. That's a smaller project. That's something I can easily kind of get done. And there's not really like too many categories. It's just kind of like what is fun <laughs> in the moment. So that will be a much easier project. But enough chit chat. I will make sure to go ahead and film me like finishing this up and hopefully it will look really like fun. I'm like, I'm excited to edit the video <laughs> to see just like everything get into a box and be put away and then vacuum the floor. It's gonna be so exciting. So I'm gonna go to sleep because it's very late and I will check in soon. Hey guys, it is the next day. Aubrey and Juan are out at the grocery store uh, getting some drinks for the people working on our patio cover. So make sure to check out that vlog when it airs, if it airs before or after, I don't know. Just make sure to check that one out. I just laid Jack down for a nap. So I am gonna try to tackle putting some of these toys away because Aubrey came in here this morning and was like, mommy, it's beautiful. And it's definitely not beautiful. It is a disaster mess in here, but she just loves seeing all her toys and she wants to get, get in here and get food and play. And I'm just like, no, don't go in there. You're gonna mess it all up. So I need to make progress while they're out and while Juan is in charge of her and Jack is in bed. So. I'm gonna, like I mentioned, I want to take pictures of everything in the boxes, but before I do that, I need to make sure that things fit and figure out like if something fits better in a different box, like if it doesn't really matter what set it goes with. So I'm gonna take the pictures once I figure out everything for that season and like finalize everything. Then when I have the room, I'll take everything out, lay it out, take a nice picture, and you know deal with that last minute organization but for now it's kind of just playing tetris and figuring out how all this is gonna be packed away So it may not be fully complete, but I feel so much more like accomplished and just better about this whole situation. So let me kind of like summarize what's been done. So I got some stuffed animals up there. Uh, there's a whole lot more like in Aubrey's or in my room or that Aubrey's kind of put there. So that's just kind of, you know, up there for now, but it can hold more if I need to tuck some away. We got some extra board games um, that don't fit in our board game um, holder, some balls and like a little backpack. I just don't know exactly what I want to do with yet. 
And then we have our foam mats and some more like of my old belongings that I still need to go through. And so this is kind of still kind of junky, but uh, it's fairly organized. And then over here we have like the spring, winter, and fall uh, containers with their corresponding like big items that don't fit in the box. And then we got some baby toys up here that I still have to deal with. This is split up over the course of like, I think spring and fall. So this will be brought down. And then this is just holding some like balls and stuff. I really don't know what to do with. Um, I don't know if I want them to be outside toys or toys that she can use anytime. Down here we have the box that she can use right now. She has her Frozen set out. She's playing with it right now. So we're using the corresponding box and the Legos are you know able to be played with as well. So this is all that she will be allowed to play with uh, out of the seasonal rotation. And then, like I mentioned, I put the food away in the grocery store. Um, these two pieces are missing their other halves. This is missing its grocery cart, which Aubrey has right now. Um, and then all of this stuff is like, that's just a bunch of containers. This is stuff I'm going to put with my holiday um, stuff or in my master closet. Those need to be found and put in the rightful place around the house. Um, and then this is a box of just random toys, like toys you would get from... Chick-fil-A or Burger King or whatever and so this might just be like a hey let's just explore this random box and we'll just play with the pieces in there. Need to figure out what I want to do with these random Legos but all of this will disappear. And then we have our little diner. We have our cooking utensils um, and like a little way to check people out and her cleaning supplies. I thought that putting these little lights up here might be kind of cute. She can turn them on and make like the diner area feel fancier. <laughs> and then we are still missing one thing of frosting for the cupcakes, so I'm just leaving that out here. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is just take a little bit of a break, go eat something, see our patio cover, stuff like that, and put some of these things around, away around the house, and then we'll come back in here and just kind of finish off the room. All right, guys, it is the same day. Um, I'm just showered and dressed differently. <laughs> But uh, we transferred all of the toys that Aubrey had in our master bedroom, which is like just a bunch of stuffed animals along with some other things that she took out of here. And we brought it all back in this room. It's almost as if I did absolutely nothing. <laughs> so what we are going to do now is just kind of organize this all, uh, probably vacuum. And if I'm still feeling energetic, we are going to find a way to kind of take pictures of what's inside our seasonal boxes so that I have a way to make sure that everything gets put away when it's time to change out the toys. So let's go ahead and get that done.
I feel so relieved that it's all done. Um, all done sans the labeling and stuff. I think I'm going to save that for another video because I have a feeling this one's going to be pretty long. So thank you. If you're watching all the way up till now, thank you for sticking around and watching all the way through. I really appreciate you supporting my channel. But anyways, I will put on the screen here just kind of what I constructed on my computer and how I kind of organized most of my toys that I found in Aubrey's stash. Um, like I said earlier, you know, for me, I really had to go through everything and kind of see the broader categories as I was going through all the toys instead of trying to come up with them before even looking at what I had. So it's not like, you know, you're going to have as many cars as I, as Aubrey did and, you know, could split it up as, as I did or whatever. So you really have to inventory like what you actually have and see the broader categories. But if you want to use mine as a starting ground, feel free. I hope that if you are trying to take this on um, for your own house or for a loved one and you're, you would just want to help them out, I hope that it goes somewhat smoothly. I'm actually like really surprised that the categories I came up with like really worked out really well and it was really quick to then finally categorize and just like, you know, pick a season and put it in that box and be done with it. I'm also really surprised that like pretty much everything fits in the closet and that there's probably a more workable room in there if I kind of tweak things and move things around. So I'm very happy with that. So if you, uh, let me know in the comments if you guys plan on doing some type of seasonal rotation with your kids. Uh, from what I hear, since I haven't done this, you know, implemented it yet, but what I hear is that the kids, you know, play more intentionally with the toys and then, you know, you open up a new box and it feels more fresh um, and when you put the other ones away and they just don't get bored or overstimulated. So that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, when Aubrey saw like everything in the room, she thought it was beautiful. That's just, she loves like collecting things and lining everything up and covering every inch of surface. So I'm hoping that it's not going to get as bad now that the stuffed animals are behind me hiding um, in that bean bag and you know we'll see how it works for us most likely we'll have to clean house after her birthday party and you know give certain things away um, but then part of me kind of feels like there's certain toys maybe Jack would like to play with when he grows up so I don't know how all that's going to work. That'll obviously be in another video. Again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned. In a later video, I will be probably labeling these boxes with my Cricut. We're going to be moving in something that Juan built really for the outside, but I think it'll fit better here um, to kind of better organize the uh, toys that are out. And you know, maybe I'll, I'll tweak some things in the closet just to make it even more aesthetically pleasing. So stay tuned for all that. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.